Hi folks, hope you're having a great time. In this video and upcoming videos, we tend to have a look at the Global Mapper Pro software and make the most of it. This series of tutorials contains useful videos that incorporate various topics such as working with layers, downloading DMs and images in Global Mapper, watershed, hill shade, profiles, and so on, to show you how to practically use this software. This video is just the starting point for embarking on new topic-based videos. Okay, here we have the Global Mapper Pro software. As you can see, in this software there are several main sections that help you easily perform your tasks. The top section of the software includes various toolbars and tabs. Using the toolbars, you can perform different tasks within the software. Each toolbar is designed for a specific function and collectively these tools form the core of the software and drive all its activities. Since there are many tools in this software, we don't explain it because it will be boring. Instead, we work with most of them in the upcoming videos in a topic-based manner. In the right corner of the toolbars, you can right-click to manage the tools you want to activate or deactivate. This feature helps you turn off unnecessary tools to improve screen management. By selecting the Customize option, a window will open where you can view all the toolbars, commands and so on. You can turn off the tools you don't need and reactivate them if necessary, so they appear at the top of the software. Additionally, to display text labels for all the tools, click on Show Text Labels. If not needed, you can disable this option. You can arrange the toolbars in a way that makes them more organized within the software. Another important section is Control Center. This section allows you to view and manage all the layers. And the main window is Software Display, which in this section, maps and layers are displayed. There are a few options and features here, that we're going to see what they are. Global Mapper Pro supports a wide range of formats. By clicking on Open Data Files, you can view different types of formats and easily display your layers and information within the software without needing to convert formats. For example, we can add a shapefile to the software and see that it is correctly displayed. The second one is online sources. By selecting this option, you gain access to a vast array of online data sources. These sources are displayed in a categorized format, allowing you to select any of them for viewing. For example, we click on World Imagery and then click on Connect to display it. The third one is Configuration. Using this tool, you can perform most of the processing tasks you need. This section will be one of the main areas of focus in our future videos which we will cover in detail.
The fourth one is Load Default Data. By selecting this option, default data will be displayed for you. And the last one is Training. Using this section, you can visit the software's website and take advantage of the available educational resources. The website link has been provided in the video description. One of the standout capabilities of this software is Litter Data Processing. In future videos, we will explore the tools related to litter and other features of this software.